In the medieval times, castles were a sign of intimidation, brutality and the monarchy's strength. Upon William the Conqueror's successful invasion, he built castles to scare his new population into submission. As time went on, castles were used for a number of different purposes. However, the most notorious use of the fortifications has to be to imprison criminals or to torture people brutally in many different ways. Medieval methods such as the rack are the most familiar. However, we look today at possibly the most disturbing and horrific torture method of them all. Today, we look at the infamous oubliette. Remember, if you do enjoy our videos, please remember to support the channel by subscribing. An oubliette was an underground dungeon that was commonly found in castles during the medieval times. It was used to imprison and hold many different types of prisoners, from political to common day thieves. It was built to inspire psychological damage and harm onto a prisoner. The term oubliette derives from the French word oublier, which means to forget. The oubliette was a small, narrow and incredibly dark hole within a dungeon, of which the victim once thrown into the oubliette was simply forgotten. They remain within the cramped conditions of a tiny cell with a single trap door at the top being its only entrance and also exit. Many of the oubliettes were designed in a wine bottle shape. There was absolutely no chance of escaping. It would be a small secluded dungeon within many other dungeons. The prisoners would be thrown into the oubliette sometimes after intense torture and could possibly die in there. The claustrophobic conditions would send people completely crazy. Some oubliettes would not allow anyone's space to stand up in and could be immensely brutal filled with rats and the remains of previous prisoners. Sometimes they were made in a way in which a prisoner would be able to stand up though. Imagine having to stand for 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, surrounded by the remains of a previous prisoner who was left in the dungeon. Sometimes the torture methods would continue within the oubliette. Prisoners could have a spiked floor in which incredibly spiked flooring would impale the limbs of prisoners and also rather disturbingly, the cell could be partly flooded. By filling the oubliette with water, it could create a sense of panic for the prisoner, and it's been known that prisoners have drowned in an oubliette. Sometimes even human waste and sewage would have been thrown down the hole. The oubliette really was a horrific method of torture. The mental punishment inflicted in the enclosed, claustrophobic and horrific conditions of the walls would be enough to submit anyone. Designed for a prisoner to just be forgotten, it's fair to say that a prisoner would wish their deaths once inside the oubliette very very quickly thanks again for watching to support the channel please subscribe thank you